The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be streamed live. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's a new episode, another episode of Critical and Thinking with Ty Barnett. And Ian Harris. Uh, what's happening? Uh, it's a lot. Yes. It's, it's a lot going on, bro. Uh, <laughs> so this will be, a, 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 again, we're always a week behind. So this will, this will be coming out right around uh, right. Halloween. But uh, hey, today, what's happening? Oh, there's live people. Hey. Thanks, for, thanks for checking us out. Yeah, we're going live. For, uh, but... Today or uh, yesterday, we had uh, we had some bombings. Yeah, uh, that, that, yeah. Did, that didn't go off, and that means what? It, well, oh. yeah, the, the bombs didn't go off. So people's theory is they must have been fake bombs. Dude, I, I when I first heard about it, I made a joke. I made a joke thinking that it was so ridiculous. No one was there. Right. I was like, oh, probably the libtards bombing themselves in order for the election. And I made a joke, and all of a sudden, like three hours later, people are like, no, no, that's that's what they're saying. No, see, Ian is pretty much like uh, Nostradamus with his his post sometimes. Like He'll post some stuff as a total joke, and then the shit will happen, and and then I'll be like, oh, my God, I, I was totally <laughs> bushing. But let's just give everybody the, the backstory so everybody knows where we are and, and what's happening right now. So, so it started out with Obama and Clinton. Yes. And CNN got suspicious packages. Right. And the, of course, because they have Secret Service and people checking their fucking mail for them, they were, oh, this is weird. And why yeah. did it come from Debbie Wasserman Schultz in this weird package that looks like a fucking pipe bomb? Um, so they screened it and turns out, yes, pipe bomb. Right. What up, CJ? And then uh, um, and then we had uh, uh, more after that. So there was a few right. that turned out not to be. Uh, Andrew Cuomo and Kamala Harris turned out not to be. They did they had suspicious packages, but there was nothing there. Right. And then we ended up with, I think, six or seven by the end of the day. And then two today, Biden. Yeah. And um, uh, and uh, De Niro. And De Niro. They yeah. sent him to De Niro. No, no yes. But, but, but. I got a pipe bomb, huh? <laughs> hey, got a pipe bomb. No, no, you're you gonna, did. You're going to blow me up? You're going to fucking blow me I'll up. I'll blow you up. Are you, you going to blow? No, you try to blow me up. Huh? Don't blow so, me up. I, I just want people to understand where we are right now. Just, just, just so we can get a clear picture of where we are as a country. Regardless of all of the evidence in the Russia investigation, we're talking about over 35 indictments of how many convictions now? Five to seven convictions. Yeah, I don't even know anymore. Numerous uh, connections connected, uh, numerous lies exposed, all of these admissions of guilt. <laughs> from, <laughs> including from Putin and from everybody exactly. in the Republican Putin Party. Putin standing, like standing right next to the, to the <laughs> dude saying that he did meddle in election. Despite all of that, Conservatives, Republicans, evangelicals, all of these people still do not believe that there is any connection to this Russia investigation. But with zero evidence, with zero anything to back it up, they believe that two presidents, a congresswoman, a vice president, an actor, and all these people sent pipe bombs to themselves. Well, no, I think I think they think that it was that it was a libtard Antifa, who, but still, who, but no, who no, no, sent, it, no, sent no. it to them so that we could get sympathy. Here's the one thing: they didn't go off. Well, can I explain something real quick? First off, they didn't go off because because one guy called them duds. I'm like, I don't know that they were duds. I know that they were dealt with appropriately, which doesn't mean they were duds. It just means the package wasn't open. What up, which Andre? Is what, which is what um, which is what blows it blows them up. Right, right. Second of all, let's say this is a guy who believes in conspiracy theories who had. That means a he's dumb as a fucking box of rocks. Yeah. B he learned how to do this online, which by the okay. way is amazing that you can find all of this right, shit out. Exactly. On the, you and, can print three D guns and you can make bombs. So on let, the internet. and and he's dumb enough to to do all of this. So the guy's not the fucking brightest dude ever. Right. So the fact that his bombs didn't work. Isn't that fucking big of a deal? And they're no. like, well, all of them didn't work. Well, no shit, dummy. If one didn't work, then guess that means what? The rest of them, the rest of them aren't going to fucking work either. But I'm telling you, that's not the, the 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 weirdest part to me out of all of this. All of this. What up, Courtney? Don't uh, forget, we're the, no no one else knows us on the podcast portion. <laughs> when you keep well, yelling yeah. out, what up? Courtney? No, right there. Look, they, they're watching us live. Right there. I know, but this is going to go out next week on podcast. I know, but I still got to shout out the people that's watching because they're taking time out of their day. So for those to people who are listening thing. to this next See, week, CJ just says on, I, on iTunes, they're going to be like, "Why the fuck you keep yelling? What up, Courtney? Because we're, because we're, we're live." It, let me say this for all the people. <laughs> let me say this for all the people that are listening and don't understand. Now, this is why I wanted, I should have set this up at the very beginning. <laughs> this is our very first time doing the podcast on Facebook Live and Twitter Live. So we're, we're trying to accommodate all the people that are taking their time to watch like CJ right. again and there is in saying what he has to say so uh <laughs> so so again like I said this is to me where we are right now 
the fact that they would believe that these people sent these packages to themselves as opposed to believing that this is a real threat from somebody. Right. But I, I can't I can't stress this enough, okay? Because 24 hours after the dude tweeted, after saying, after, and I'm not going to even say the dude's name. I'm trying not to say the guy's name anymore. But 24 he hours. He shall not be named. Right. Voldemort. So, so 24 hours after saying that we need to come together in peace. This is what he said. 24 hours after this, he tweets that the media is to blame for these bombs. Now, I want to be clear. <laughs> he said again that the media is the problem with these bombs. Right. He didn't blame the KKK, white nationalists, white supremacists, proud well, no, because boys. He, he didn't remember, blame he said he is a nationalist. He claimed right. yesterday, the day before he was a, he's a And also, what about all of his fucking shit about, you know, I would punch that guy in the face. That guy should be kicked in the dick or whatever the fuck, you know. Right. Like all the, every, all he, every time anyone disagrees with me, he goes, I'd like to fucking, I'd like to just <laughs> pop, pop, pop. I'd like to. Well, shit, like, Ian is very good at impressions, you guys. Just so, just, he's going to do a lot of them. Excuse me, I'd like know. to punch that guy in the face. I would just go. like, oh, I would just like to, you know what? I'd but, like but, to leave orange stains on him. But, but what trips me out about where we are now is, is not, because he's one person. He's, he's one person. The issue is, is with everybody else not calling this out as a problem. So let's take away the left and the right. Let's take away all of that. Here's the bottom line. Six bombs, actually now eight. Eight? eight I, yeah, I, I'm losing eight, count. Eight bombs were sent to people in attempt to either scare them or kill them. In America, bro. Yeah. In America. Including a it, former president. Two. Two yeah. former presidents. Well, pre and mean, a vice president. I, I'm pretty sure they were trying to get Hillary. They said, you know what? Hey, Hillary, only you open this package. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bill, you're cool because you still get blowjobs. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but my, my thing is... <laughs> Grab him by the pussy, Bill. <laughs> exactly. Still with you, bro. But the, the issue is that people have taken this, as opposed to looking at this as a moral issue, they still want to make this a political issue. The fact that someone still tried to assassinate two presidents right. is lost on some of these people, as opposed to saying, you know what, we probably should just dial back all of the hateful rhetoric on both sides. Right, so you right. want to say it's both sides, dial back all of it, and let's get back to basics of understanding that this is really politics. This is all about, hey... Do you agree with this policy or do you not? But if you're not going to do that and all you want to believe is that if these death threats and these attempts are all politically based and they sent these things, who, let me ask you something. How the fuck does Obama have time to go send a fucking package to himself? This is Obama, bro. Well, I, but, I, but here's the thing. I, I really don't yeah. think that they're saying that. I think that what they're saying is that it was some other liberal faction, some group like Antifa or Occupy Democrats or, or whatever – that they are that they're sending it to all this one one liberal guy sending it to all the it's not that Obama sent it to himself it's a liberal sending it to them as a false flag to blame conservatives right before the election right so then if that if that's his why would you not believe that it could actually be Trump supporters because there are signs out there Trump supporters have said stuff like ah fuck I said his name twice it's like <laughs> Beetlejuice in this bitch so <laughs> so there are signs out there with with saying liberals you better get your guns ready just in case and this dude has actually said that there's going to be violence if the GOP loses in the midterms right. now, well, he said he said that again today by the way yes he's, and this again, he said we better not lose otherwise it, what, 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 what kind of that's like that's like that's like hey um. If you don't give me your milk money, um, oh, come on. there might be violence to you by me. <laughs> like, wait, 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 it's like stupid this is some, extortion. Some like, mob mentality. It's so dumb. You know, I'm just saying, if you vote for the wrong guy, I don't know, maybe something might happen to your kids. But like, I got to tell you, I have to say this to you guys. This dude is only one person. He's only one person. And the only reason, the only reason... He's doing what he's doing is that he has a base of people that are letting him do it. Do you, I got to tell you something right now. They're, they're I honestly, encouraging him to do it. Exactly. They want him to do it. I honestly don't believe that every Republican thought that this dude would be this bad. I don't think so. I, I honestly don't think that they did. I think that they thought it was just going to be some kind of surface shit. But what they are seeing now, and if they well, can't and a lot even of back the, out a, now. A lot, well, a lot of them, that's the, that's the crazy thing to me is like, look look at a lot of these guys that I, I don't agree with at all. <laughs> but there's a lot of Republican um you know, media people like George Will, who I've never really agreed right. with, who's completely left the Republican Party. Um, I can't remember. There's a, there's two or three guys. What uh, up, what's his name? Andrew. Uh, the, the, I, you see him on Bill Maher. You see him mm -hmm. on these talks that are just like completely. What's what's the um, Steele? Uh, Richard Steele. He's he's the he was the black Republican, the guy that was their 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 
their main guy, he was the their spokesperson or something. I can't remember what what is the chairman. Right. Um. He's always on. Uh. He's always on on Bill Maher. I see him. He is completely denounced all all yeah. of the top. Uh, Joe Scarborough, who I don't like at all, with you know jo- Morning Joe or whatever. That dude. Is yeah. like he's well, railing against well, him like he's a liberal. He's, I'm like, what the he's, fuck? But because again, it's this has at some point it has to come down to a moral issue. It, it is has to. this this at this point we're beyond left and right. This is about people losing their lives and people totally throwing out any kind of civility. Let me tell you something. This is what I don't mind about people being on here when they want to, uh, you know, call me certain names or whatever. Because that's the first thing people do now. Which let me let me just clearly state this to everybody. I don't respond to the name calling. I don't. I don't. One, because it's easy. Two, I'm a comedian, so I can come back at you with way more shit than you can. Three, it tells me that you have no point. It tells me that all you want to do is call names. So I always say this to people because I've had more people come on my page and the first thing they say, and they've never met me. This is the thing that's crazy. This idiot, moron, dummy. And I'm like, can you at least, can we at least know each other before we start talking? When do we start talking shit to people before we even knew who they were? So, but the fact that we're at this point tells me that we've become a society that has totally thrown out everything about being civil with each other, everything. And this is why I tell people, I will always talk facts. I will always talk just facts alone. I will never talk about you because I don't know you. I will never call you names because again, it's the easiest fucking thing to do, but (laughs) The fact that people, think that, I'm guilty. If I put out facts, oh, no, Ian's oh, way different. if I put out facts though, Ian will and, go off on you. If I put out facts <laughs> and your first thing is like, oh, well, you're gonna believe NPR, the uh, 99 of the scientists in the world, blah blah. If you, if you come back with some shit like that, my first response is, eat a dick, you fucking retard. Like that's like, and I know those are the bad words and what. Uh, but, if this was uh, Ebony and Ivory, you could tell that right. we're a little <laughs> different in our approach to how we deal with these. But I, I start with the facts. But as soon as, as soon as you cannot operate with a with, with a, on a normal discourse and have a discussion, as soon as it, as soon as we can't even talk about about what facts are, yeah. As, as soon as it's like, yeah. Every single news organization in the world, BBC and 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 New York Times yeah. and MP, they're all wrong. But your your fucking info wars, you know, that is correct. It, as soon as we're talking about that, it's like I immediately go, "Oh, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. You're just a goddamn but, but, but idiot." Again, like I can't. But, but again, I don't. I in my head sometimes I'm thinking it, but I don't go that I, route with yeah, it because it's no, because it's the easiest thing. I know and, it and, is. and this is where I tell people, man. We can't come to any kind of any kind of real discussion if we're just name calling because that means you're I not agree. really trying to it's solve a problem. You just no no believe me, bro. <laughs> believe me. And there let me just say this. There's no coincidence that at the same time all of this crazy shit is happening, they're legalizing weed more. Just I, I, I'm just telling you, I'm putting it out there that they said, you know what, shit's gonna be fucked up for a while, so they might as well be high. Right. Which is by the way, alcohol and porn and weed are the only three things that are keeping this country together right now. And sports sometimes. <laughs> but the the we we have to at some point realize that. And then let me say this very clearly Unless to all the meals people before the sport. Then. <laughs> exactly. But let me say this clearly to everybody out there that thinks they're winning because they're Republican or conservative or whatever. Unless these motherfuckers are giving you a check personally, unless they're giving you a check, unless they hand you 20 racks and they say, here's 20 grand for you for supporting us, you're still losing. But these people, hold on, hold on. These people are taking money for themselves. They're not taking this money and saying, hey, let's give it to the people who are supporting us. They're stacking their bank accounts. They're stacking their wallets. They're build, They're buying their houses. They're not giving you shit. If you were in a trailer park before this dude was elected and you're still in a trailer park, that should be sign number one that shit's not but, working but, out for you right now. But but even that being being said, the thing that drives me crazy is that I hear people say that. Well, I would have voted for this if exactly if, if it if it worked for me. But it's like that's the. I mean, uh, maybe I'm way fucking too uh, too out there and idealistic. But you're not supposed yeah, to vote. Exactly. You're not supposed to vote on your own self interest. I know that sounds weird right. to people. You shouldn't just go. Well, I got taxes backs or whatever the fuck you. Well, I'm against this. Which is this, nothing, so, by so, the way. Right? No, I'm, I'm not, and I'm just saying. Imagine, imagine if Trump gave us all twenty grand tomorrow. Yay. Okay, great. I'm not gonna lie. If he gave me yeah, twenty grand, no, I would but, at least think but, about. It. But my point is, is, you don't. You should <laughs> never actually vote just based on your your personal situation right you you need to vote for the greater good of the entire society what up april which will eventually pay you off maybe not immediately right. but long term so when these people are like we won we won ah fuck you and i don't even care i've heard people say i don't even like like brett kavanaugh but fuck you we won i want to shove it through well you know what happens 
cut to 20 years from now yes. when, when, when Voldemort is, for life. is, is president for life. And we no longer like with all this, all this election fraud, there's people saying that we're going to win majority and we're going to lose because of all the voter fraud. And I don't doubt that. And if that happens, then, then our vote will no longer matter. Then everything. And then we live in a, in a Russia like dictatorship where the only way to get this back is by force. Let me tell you something. And, 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 th- and then, then where is your winning? No, but, but then un- understand winning? something, understand something. If, first of all, if Obama, Obama had come out and said that he's even entertaining the thought of being president for life. This country would have been burned down for but two, three right. years ago, at least even. But the the and and, and I don't want to man, I don't I hate saying this, but it's a fact of where we are. What this country was founded on was not a great thing. OK, and when people keep saying stuff like let's make America great again, I want to be very clear when I say this. I love every culture, every culture, every culture. I have an affinity for it because I have seen the the the, the joy and, and the happiness and all of them, and I have seen the love out of all of them. Here's what people don't want to understand, though. This country was only great, great for one group, one, only one. There is not, nobody in history other than that one group was prosperous and benefiting from all of the rules and, and, and only one. Well, have you seen the rallies? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the same group. So... When people, when people for some reason think that when they say, well, let's go back to that. No, because when you go back to that, you're only going back to something that was prosperous for one group, which is why. That's the group that wants to go back there. Right. So we have to at some point and understand this is why I say the younger generation will figure this out. The younger generation. The the younger generation doesn't even fucking vote. No, but no, no, no. They don't do shit. No, because we can't. 10%. No, no, because we cannot demonize them because here's the thing they need to get their asses out and vote right that now, right there that's do. all i'm gonna say to you millennials that's all i'm gonna say to you 18 to 30 it, voted at 10 percent, and there's something think, like 40 percent of our country it doesn't matter if you really think that what's going on doesn't matter why do you think there's doing they're doing all this vote yeah, why fraud? are they trying to steal why do your you votes? think they're purging vote why do you think they're doing this if it really doesn't matter right of so, course it fucking matters especially when we're if, talking eighty thousand votes for president over four states when the three million was three million popular to to Hillary Clinton, and there were eighty thousand votes right. over four states that gave this fucking knucklehead uh, uh, the fucking presidency. Your vote fucking matters. There was what was the vote not too long ago? There was a, a, a liberal that won in what West West yeah. Virginia or something like that yeah. by one goddamn vote. Yeah, they, which that, one that sounds like some movie shit. Fucking, <laughs> they yeah. actually did make. Who was, yeah. that? Who was in that? It was a movie like, made. Wait a hold on a second. There's one underneath here. Right. No, but remember oh, there was yes. there was a movie where uh, <laughs> damn I can't think who anybody out there if you're watching who what was the movie where it was, it was one person. That they and they were uh, both sides were trying to get his vote. Man, I can't think of who was in it. Okay, so look, so that's that. We're oh, and gonna, the one guy had to decide who. Yes. Oh, yeah, I didn't see. So it. we're gonna get ready to move on to the next topic. Uh, we got a lot to cover. We got a lot to cover. Again, this is the first one where we're doing Facebook Live and Twitter Live. Uh, so thank you for sticking with us. We're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna try and keep you guys uh, interested in all what we're talking about. So the next topic on a brighter uh, level, racism. racism. <laughs> <laughs> Well, go ahead, Ian. Tell us. Okay, so right, well, it's about okay, making. So, so first off, before I get hate mail, okay, uh, <sighs> they're already starting it with you, bro. Look, I have a black friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. not me. It's not no, me. No, it's not him. I hate it's this dude, me. but or he hates me. But uh, <laughs> no, this is. The, I want to talk about. I'm talking about the nuance of something here, and I want to talk about words of something, and I want to talk about. I want to qualify first off. So there's a few things going on. Okay. Uh, all of this ended up with with the Megan, what the fuck's her name? Megan White, white, white bitch. Megan Kelly. Uh, Megan Kelly. I don't, her name she, is technically not white bitch, but, <laughs> but she yeah. she she said something about uh, on a panel, which the biggest thing was it was a panel of all white people uh, talking about Weird. whether it's okay to to be to do blackface, and she said I don't even give the problem is or whatever. Okay, I'm, she's wrong. They were wrong. All that's nuts. Here's my thing. Two things. I just read an article a couple days ago, and this is affecting my daughter who's in, who's in, who's in uh, eighth grade and loves Halloween and dresses up and does whatever. She, she does different stuff for Halloween. Right. And, of course, my daughter's never gone in blackface or anything like that. But there was a whole article written by, I'm sure, some uh, uppity white person. Uh, Let us know what you think, by the way, here, uh, the people that are alive. Right. Let us know what you think. And, and they said, white people, stop it already. Don't let your kid dress up as Black Panther for Halloween. And my first thought was, wait a second. First off, I'm sure the kids aren't painting, putting blackface on, but, but second of all, that's the day that we have seven, eight, nine year old right. white kids in America 
going, I want to be Black Panther. Folks, that's right. called fucking progress. Let them be Black Panther. Don't tell them that there's something wrong with them wanting to be their black heroes. There's nothing wrong with that. First of all, right. there just fucking isn't. But and there's not. nothing wrong with a white kid wanting to go as Superman, no. whether it's white Superman or black Superman or fucking spider. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. And, and and same thing wait, goes. Are, are they doing the Black Panther with the mask or are they doing the Black Panther as Chadwick Boseman? Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's two different things. If you're doing the mask, I'm with it. But, 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 you, but, but let me explain something. Like, but you don't the, have to the, put the thing on to look like. Yeah. But st I still don't think this. I think there's a. I think the problem is that we're, we're splitting uh, the differences when someone calls. So yeah, they're just talking about the mask. Right, but let's okay. go beyond that, okay? Right. Because people have to have to remember that um, Alex, that the the people have to remember that yeah, okay. putting on makeup to look like somebody right. is not the same as blackface. And let me explain what I'm talking about here. The blackface was a thing that was done in the past, specifically. To mock, to mock and degrade black folks. Yes, and you would put on a show, and they and first off, it was like really horrible, fucking uh, offensive, yep. fucking makeup. And they would, they would the highlight lips the lips and all that shit. Yeah. And they go on, they do like, oh, I'm a black guy, and they would dance, they do all this bullshit. It was purposely meant to. So when someone says blackface, they're talking about mocking black people. Okay, but when 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 someone there was a little kid that they said dress up for this a couple years ago. Right. Did you see that? He said they said dress up as your favorite historical. Character. He's a little right. white kid. Mm -hmm. And he showed up to school as Martin Luther King. Okay. And and of course, if he had gone as white Martin Luther King, he would have just been a businessman or something. Right. Like he was in a suit and he and he put on like a little like a little afro See? kind of wig. And he and he paid and, and he was like, I'm Martin Luther King. And yeah. here's a little a little white kid whose idol was Martin Luther yeah. King. And what did everybody say? Fucking racist eight-year-old. Well he's not a fucking racist eight-year-old. But see, to your point, like April, April Smith just now said that for years she wanted to be Wonder Woman. And see, I get that. That right. I totally understand. I told you, like one of my all time, two of my all time favorite characters in Hollywood history. Two of them. Right. Uh, they happen to be the same person though. Uh, Han Solo and Indiana Jones. Yeah. The the baddest people in the galaxy and in uh, archaeology. Right. So to me, I would go and I would put. I, I would. I would probably get the hat and, and the right. whip and all that stuff. So I understand your point, and this is what I was telling you earlier. And and let me know. Let us know what you guys think. And and watch the watch the show. The difference is, and the problem is, is that we, first of all, we live in a toxic society right now. It's re even more toxic than I can ever remember, to be honest with you. But the, so when you have people that are doing blackface and they are mocking people at the same time as people that are trying to, I just want to be like right. my idol. That's the problem. Because again, we but, live in a society that is going to only look at but, the But I, I right think, now. I think you have to split those two. You can't say. You can't, it's hard no, to do no, that. But, I, but, but, that, but do you that. have to start by doing it because you can't just say. Okay, well, every eight-year-old kid who dresses up as Martin Luther King because he idolizes Martin Luther King is a racist, or every little white kid who wants to be Black Panther is a racist. That's fucking insane. No, no, no. And, and I agree with what you're saying. You can't. You, you have to. You have to. And I get that there's a history. The two. But but I'm telling you though, Ian, the reason why you're having this problem and the people that are uh, people are are saying this is because there are people that'll be that are being hateful. That's just like with the N word. When people say I the N word, they they're not going to sit there. And but say, you need to condemn those people and not condemn the people that aren't that aren't doing it for that and you need to be able to set the difference and especially when we're talking about little kids right who you're trying if we're really trying to to get past racism as much as it's never going to be completely tribalism always exists right. and you're ne racism and tribalism are never going to go away but we can we are already have a way like twinkies bro millennials like twinkies. millennials are already a million times less racist uh, overall than any of our past yes, generations. That's so true. if we want to continue on that, the first thing we need to stop doing is when little kids go, when little black kid goes, I want to be Superman, we, we got to stop going, Superman's white. No, 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 and, you, and, that's fine. And, and, and you can't be a Superman because you're, you're white. And when a little white kid wants to be black man, you can't go, oh, that's fucked up. Like yesterday, my daughter was at school and um, and she gives tours at her school and somebody, one of the, one of the they, she gives tours to, prospect, to uh, prospective parents and she was touring, touring it with another little boy who uh, is a black kid. And apparently he's just kind of a, my daughter's like, yeah, he's just kind of a little whiner. He hates the school. He's told me that he, he, does, he wants to screw right. up the school because he doesn't like the school. And she goes, he's just kind of a prima donna. So he's always like, every, always complaining about stuff. So one of the kid, one of the parents said, hey, my, my daughter gets picked on and gets called the N-word at her elementary school. Right. Is there a lot of bullying and racial bullying at your school? Now, mind you, my daughter's school is 2,000 kids. And she's like one of like 10 right. white kids. It's very diverse. It's, it's Asian and Hispanic and black. It's very mixed. And there's 2,000 kids there. And there's some bullying. 
And the little kid, the, the one kid goes, oh, yeah, it's bullying all the time. Everybody calls everybody the N-word all the time and this right. and that. And goes off because he, A, because he doesn't, he doesn't oh, want lady. kids to go to that school. <laughs> yeah. he, but also. The kid's trying to sabotage it from the inside. Right. <laughs> I got and, you. And also that might be his, his personal experience. Maybe he's, right. maybe he's a weird kid and people make fun of him. Yes. And, and I'm not saying they should call him that word. That Fuck no. But I'm saying that, that that's the thing. So afterward, my daughter goes, well, to clarify, there is some bullying, but this school is a lot less bullying than other right. schools I've been to. And she goes, and and what he's talking about when people say that is she goes, kids call each other the N word here because they think it's cool. Like Asian right. kids call other Asian kids like, you know, what up my, you know, N word, whatever. Like they're like, they're right. fucking no, rappers. It's, it's, right. it's in casual, ca casual, casual discussion. Endearment. Yeah. They're, they're not making, but, they're not it, bullying their friend. So my daughter says that, Hey, just so you know, this is what he means when they're throwing around that word. It's not necessarily in the bullying sense. Right. And this adult leans over to my daughter and goes, you're white. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. And it's like, no, she can still objectively no, 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 no. fucking she, see she, the she universe. Can. She can, but but you got to understand. And this again, this is what I go back to the thing about the blackface thing right. and why it's a problem. It's you got to look at it in the total, in the totality. I, I agree. Of, in, in the totality of the society, first of all, that we've always been in as, right. as a country, but especially where we are right now. So when people are saying, so, so I agree with you when he says, well, you know, you're white, you don't have an opinion on this. I don't agree with that. I hate when people say because you're white, yeah. you can't have an opinion on race or anything like that. That's that yeah. automatically. We can shuts all have objective them. opinions yes. by looking at reality. But, but here is the here is the issue though. Because that word is such a a a a, a, a triggering word. For sure. Okay. You, it's hard to look at the difference between the two. Like the kid said, you know, the kid ended up saying there's never a good time to say it, which right. I agree. There's right. never a good time to say it. And, and and the word slips out from people from time to time. Right. I get it. But it's different in how people are saying it and how they're using What up, Matt? And right. people are trying to say the word because, again, I've seen all of these videos of these hateful people, these racists that have come out and be like, and they use the N word. They're not using yeah, it. No, as no, an like like the person said to us on stage. Absolutely. Right. They're not no, using it in, in an endearing way. So it makes it so bad I, I that, that, that when the word is said, period. Now, here's, here's what I've the always. Pro the problem I'm saying, though, is that you create more of the, these people who are out there and, and like and don't even even think that I'm going, why people are oppressed and we can't say I'm not remotely never, never saying, ever I've say never, that. I've never said anything like that ever. But. You create people who think that, and the people go, the PC culture, you can't even say anything anymore. You, you, cre you create people like that. When my daughter goes, Dad, what did I say wrong? Dad, so, so I, can't, I can't even have an opinion on things? Dad, why am I being told I don't, I, my voice doesn't matter? Dad, be, when she says that, and then she hears like these Trumpster type people going, see? Now imagine if my daughter, now listen, just let me, like, imagine if my daughter was a, a young kid who didn't know any better right. and didn't grow up with the progressive dad in Los Angeles who grew up, you know, with, with every single one of her friends is not right. white and has, you know, people who, who she knows like uncles like you or whatever, right. basically that are, that are not white. If she didn't grow up in that environment and she had someone go, right. see, see, they don't let white people do shit no more. She would instantly be going, oh yeah, you know what? No, well, I am oppressed as a white, no, a white person. One, one, your daughter is different because your daughter is smart. Your <laughs> daughter your, your daughter actually knows the difference and she I'm can differentiate. That, that's how you create. No, no, I get nuts. it. But, but you got to understand something though, man. Th where we are right now as a country, the things that we've never addressed, things that we, let me tell you the things we've never addressed. We never addressed the word fully. We've never right. addressed racism fully. We've never in, in, in addressed uh, injustice fully. Right. So all we keep doing is putting this little Band-Aid right. on this little thing. So when these things pop up again, everybody's right. like, why is this still an issue? Because we've never talked right. about it. I always That's why I, we, this, we should have these discussions instead right. of just saying, you shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. I totally you, agree. You know? I totally agree. He shouldn't have dismissed her like that. That's You're absolutely right about that. But you have to understand it from a another perspective which of, I, I think I do of yo man how can you have an opinion on this situation that has been literally oppressive to me right so on both sides we need to come together at the table and say okay listen you guys let's figure out let's actually talk about it don't dismiss it don't put it off on something right. else and don't don't deflect anything else which is why I get mad on, on Facebook or anything any social media when you put out any topic and someone automatically comes in well what about this and what no let's talk about right. what I just brought up right now so we can deal with this issue so because we're going to continue to have this discussion because I can tell you right now man I fully believe that there's a reason why we are all on this planet and all in the same country, all in the same hemisphere and in, in, in right. atmosphere, right? Is because we are supposed 
to work together. There's right. no society, none. There's not one society on this planet that strives right. from division. Not one. There is not right. one there is not one cult, no society was created by one group only. The fact that we don't keep looking at that and understanding that that is the truth my, is mind-boggling to me because we still want to sit here and be separated. We want to say, well, we don't like these immigrants, but you don't mind if they cut your grass. You don't mind if they watch your kids. You don't mind eating their food. You don't mind doing anything like that. Right. Well, we don't like these black folks, but you idolize their, uh, the movie stars. You right. like their music. You like their style. Right. All this stuff. Say even with white people, what? with black people, when they don't, when they act like they don't like white folks, I'm like, you got to understand something. Not every white person is bad. Right. It, it, it's not. What? Let me say this real quick. When I was growing up in Chicago, right? I did not have a white friend until I was 18 years old. 18, bro. And the only reason I got his name was Nate. The only reason me and Nate, was. <laughs> his brother was Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, actually. Connor. Uh, the only reason that we became friends is because we were in the military together. So we had to stay in the same barracks. We had to train together. We had to eat food together. We had to do right. all this stuff together. And we started learning these different things about each other. And once we as a society finally get back to that, things will get better. That's why I said this younger generation right. will figure it out. What right. up, Marvin? What up, BJ? Oh, I'm telling you, they will figure it yeah, out. Now, back to the Halloween thing, because now I think it's, it's kind of funny. I do want to think that. So, so full disclosure, I um in, again, we're going back to the 80s. So this wasn't considered bad. And I wasn't, I went, my, my I was infatuated with Mr. T in seventh grade. So I went as Mr. T. It was a great fucking costume, by the way. It right. was awesome. But did you get a picture of that? Oh, I have one somewhere. Um, you should have brought it, yeah, bro. I, I couldn't find it. it. Did you uh, have gold chains? Yeah, I had everything. Mohawk. So my mom was a makeup artist. So my, oh, yeah, shit. So my mom put, I had like a mohawk. And yes, and I was in blackface. I was not doing Al Jolson. I was, I was, I was, I, I idolized Mr. T. It was right after. Did you put on brown makeup? That's your everything. Oh, okay. I, yes. Uh, my whole body. And I had a fucking mohawk and I had the whole, the earrings and the whole. Right. And everyone was like, dude, that's the cool. Of course, I was 69 pounds. I was this tiny little rail <laughs> skin guy. I had the little muscle I shirt. I pity food. I don't put on weight. Yeah, I had this little muscle shirt and this little string. But the thing is that there's, I wasn't racist. God. I fucking was idolized. But my point is this. Somebody said, I was telling somebody that on, online. I said, you know, well, I went as Mr. T. And right. I'm like, I'm not saying I would do that nowadays because I know society's changed and people would, would immediately go, fucking racist. So I wouldn't do it now for that reason. Right. But I was like, I still don't think there was anything wrong with what I did. And some lady goes, I think it's awesome that you went as Mr. T. You didn't put on black makeup, though, did you? I said, yes, otherwise I would have been Chuck Liddell. I wouldn't have <laughs> fucking been Mr. T. And, so, and that was the thing. Somebody somebody went as Bob Marley one time. It was Damn, like a I white girl. I that visual with Chuck Liddell. <laughs> right? That's true. That's actually a good, that's a good. And I'm like, and someone said, well, yeah, you can still go as Bob Marley. Just, just don't put on the black makeup. And I was like. Then you're just a chemtrail expert or something. Hilarious. Like you're you're just a fucking white Hilarious. you're a guy from oh are you going as a guy from Santa Cruz? For, like then you're just a white guy with <laughs> no, dreads. Like uh, so do you never going, go as Bob Marley? Uh, Encino man. Was it uh, <laughs> Pauly Shore? In, Pauly Encino Shore. man. Right. <laughs> it's, so I wonder how I wonder what I mean. I guess some people would say, well, no, white people never go as any characters that yeah. aren't white or fictitious. Or how do you go? Or maybe you go. Do you go? Somebody's told it's okay to go as a black character as long as you don't do black. I'm like, right. well, then it's then it's weird. Then it's weird. Like, what are you? Like, like yeah. you're just a white guy with dreads. You're not Bob Marley. But again, how the fuck do you do that? But again, the the people that are going to get the bad rap, it's the same thing that right. you know when we 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 talk about uh, we talk about cops. April said it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, black blackface and makeup, uh, two different things. Exactly, I and agree. that's exactly the point. Uh, but it's almost like the same thing when you look at cops. We know all cops aren't bad. We know this. I can tell you from personal experience, not all cops are bad. There's at least one. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> but he, here's the thing, and this is, Sorry, why I, this, is, this is what I always say to people. If I were a cop, if I were a good cop, and I didn't do anything wrong, if I was a white cop and I was a good cop, I followed the letter of the law, I didn't discriminate against anybody, I, I, I treated everybody with fairness and kindness. What up, Cam? How you doing? We treated everybody with fairness and kindness. But then I knew somebody else on the force was racist. And that they did practice these right. discriminatory uh, uh, acts. I personally, as the good cop, as the one that's not racist, I would do what I can to get that dude out. Well, because that, Otherwise, oh, you would oh, be oh, the oh. fucking bad guy. Right, exactly. Because that dude's <laughs> going to give me a bad name. He's probably going to get me shot. So the problem is, and this, this is why I say it's connected to all these different things, is that if you don't get rid of these people that are bad and that are using the N-word in a bad way, that are using blackface in a derogatory way, that are sitting here discriminating against other taxpaying citizens in, a, in, in any way, 
you will never get rid of the problem because we're not going to look at the one cop. We're not looking at the one good cop. We're looking at all the bad cops. Right. That's, so, so to me, when, when it comes down to this thing of makeup and blackface, you know goddamn well what you should not be wearing in the society. You know that. What up, Craig? You, right. you know goddamn well what you should not be wearing in public. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. Well, especially if you're going to be driving a car. You don't want to get. If you put on blackface and, and you, you drove through the wrong neighborhood, <laughs> <laughs> and the cop pulled you over. <laughs> no, no, no! It comes off. It, it comes, comes off. off. I, I, I promise it comes off. But it, that's the fact that if we are not sitting here and and addressing the people w that are causing the problem, the problem stays. Right. It's the one apple spoils the bunch. So we have to understand that calling somebody the N word in a derogatory way is bad. I mean, because I have seen it before. By the way, I've seen two Asian people. I can't even believe this one day. Yeah. Two Asian people say the N word ten times to each other, bro. Right. And it wasn't even like I mean, it, I, I didn't even, I didn't like know my, how to react. Right. I was just like, I uh, I don't even know how to. Okay, right. there, there, there you go. But when you have a society yeah. that we're in right now, where we got problems, every day is something. Every everything is toxic. You have to be more hyper vigilant on what to do and what not to do. And you know when you're putting on blackface versus doing a costume. You know goddamn right. well what you're doing. So stop. Don't don't act like you don't know what the situation is. But at the end of the day. But I also would say that the people, <clears throat> other people know, you also know when someone is trying to be offensive and when someone is trying to not be offensive. Right. And quit making it the, the same fucking thing. Yeah, they're not. No, they're, they're, they're not, not the same, same thing. thing. It's not the fucking same but thing. But I do personally have way more respect for the blatant racist. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. I got way more. You know why? Because they're not hiding behind anything. They're telling you exactly how they feel. The problem is, is when you got people that are just like, no, it's not really this. What are you talking about? He said he was a nationalist. It's not the, uh, stop it. Yeah. So the only way shit gets fixed is when means people, he loves his country. Exactly. The only way stuff gets fixed, man, is when we actually address what's going on. And, and, and I'm telling you, man, I don't know. You ever notice in disaster movies, every disaster movie, the only time people come together is when shit's really fucked up. Like, that's when everybody's like, no, let's get everybody out. You've never seen that disaster movie where like, no, let's just save all our people. Right. No, everybody wants to help everybody. Well, we haven't seen a disaster movie done in, in the in the era of Voldemort yet. So oh, that's we, true. You so, know what? We so might start having... You should be like, <laughs> quick, we need to get everybody out. Women, children first, black people last. Get in the back. Like, that's I, right. I, that's right. You, but but you, he he did say that it's going to take a disaster for everyone to get behind Trump. Well, which is I'm not saying. See why you say his name is like Beetlejuice, oh, bro. I'm sorry. Vol it's going to take a disaster to get behind Voldemort. Yeah, we're, we're not going to. His name's Voldemort from now we're on. Gonna, gonna hey, Carmen. Hey, Sauron. Sauron. I don't want to. But <laughs> some, some evil. So so we want to say this to everybody so you understand. Th this is all coming from a place of love. I love everybody, bro. And 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 Craig, you know this as being a comedian because we've traveled different places. We've been to different societies, different cultures, different people at the shows. We meet all these different people. I get so much love from different people, man. It's amazing. Great conversations and all this stuff. Until we realize that we're all human beings at the end of the day. Because let me tell you something, man. If There is nothing about any other culture that makes them better than the other culture. Nothing. I'm not going to lie. If you had superpowers, bro... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You would be superior. You'd be a superior motherfucker, bro. <laughs> like, dude, Ian can fly, bro. Right. I, I, you know. Yeah. But if that's not the case, we have to come back to being the, in recognizing humanity. Humanity is the only thing that matters, man, at the end of the day. And once we get back to that, we will understand how to treat each other. Our kids will understand how to treat each other and all of that. Someone brought up a good point, though. And let me know what you guys think out there, the, the people that are watching. Somebody made a really good point. They said the reason why we're having such a hard time now more so and with the civil discord is that people do not talk to each other. They're on their phones all the time. Every time yeah. they're on their phone, which, you know. Well, and it's also much easier to, to, to get outraged when you can't understand context, when you can't actually have a conversation. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like the difference between a phone conversation and an email conversation. Right. Email conversation, right. to, get that, to, get, to get what we're doing right now, point right. by point, would take three and a half weeks yeah. over email. And I couldn't get... I might not get your what you're saying with your tone of voice, right. so I might get mad at something. And exclamation points to right. set shit off quick, bro. Right, exactly. <laughs> Look and at all these exclamation points he's using. He's using caps. <laughs> well, shit, I'm old. I left my caps on. I didn't mean it. Uh, quit yelling. I get that. I get that. One. Quit yelling on the. Well, I'm not yelling. I accidentally put a caps on for a second. Right. But but it's we also have this. We're so emboldened now 
because everyone wants their 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. So that moment when they're on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is, that's their moment to be, they're a pundit now. And it's like, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, I'm going to tell you what to do. Blah, blah. And all of a sudden it's like, it escalates you to this can't. fucking, but none of, the, none of those fucking people would do that face to face. No, not like, at Let all. Let me tell you something, man, <laughs> black man, you think you're, you're, nobody would fucking do that. But, but on, on fucking like, like your dude, because like your when dude you're that behind, we're arguing with on fucking Facebook. When you're day. behind a computer screen, it's amazing right. how much, how bold people get. Like I wake up and here's what I told myself. This is what I don't do anymore. This is what I started to do. I said, you know what? I will not get up in the morning and watch the news anymore. I refuse. I get up. I, w I make my oatmeal. I talk to my dogs, my plants, and I listen to jazz music. I don't even fuck with the, with the, anything like that. And the first thing I do when I get on Facebook is I see somebody calling me a fucking idiot. Which <laughs> I'm like, ah, see, this is why I didn't want to get back on. Right. So to me, I feel like the fact that these people feel comfortable doing this tells me more about them than it does about society because I've never met anybody, even people that I don't agree with. I've never thought off the rip just to come to them and be like, fuck you, you idiot. Now, now what are we talking about? The, the funny thing is that I have some, you know, you, the, I've got, I've got a handful of deplorables that comment on every fucking thing. I right? won't block. I won't, yeah, certain people you know, I won't block I'm, because I know well, I want to see where they're coming from. Like, like you got a few of them too, but I know, I know a lot of those guys personally, they're not just like Facebook friends that, I mean, but they, you see them out and yeah. I don't see any of these people. I've out. seen a few of them out. And when I see them, they're like, what's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm like, didn't last week you call me a fucking libtard <laughs> fag or something like that? Like literally that's what you called me. And today you're like, like that was somebody called me that lib. You're a, you're a goddamn libtard any faggot pussy or something like that. And the next time I saw them, they're like, Hey, what's up, bro? Anybody what? else? Anybody else out there? If you had this experience, by the way, I didn't know. say those words. They said those. If words, anybody though. else out there, let let us know. What up, Derek? Let us know if you've had these experiences. Because I have, I have not met these people in person. Like you know, every once in a while, you had a show, and you can tell somebody is is you know they they don't agree with what you say. Right. But for the most part, people love to say this stuff online because they right. feel like it's just gonna be here. And right. they actually, actually, a lot of people think it's a joke. They think it's a game. They think it's like, oh no, you know, it's just all theater. Or they're, no, yeah, they're or they're trolling you just to just to get you. That which is the thing about the politics nowadays. They're always like, oh, well, uh, I just like seeing, I, just, I just like seeing you libtards, you know, uh, get all angry. I've had people say it to me. Now, I love watching you get angry every day. That's why I love it when Trump wins. Oh, really? So you you know you're fine with the you're fine with the uh, thing going down the the country going down the tubes as long as I'm angry. What the fuck well, is we, that? Well, and we can't do that. Being angry at each other is not going to solve the problem, especially. And again, I can't even say this enough times unless these motherfuckers are giving you money personally. You're not winning. I don't give a fuck how they tell you. I don't care how they spin it. You are not personally winning. No. Not at all. Let me tell you something, man. Again, I go back to the same thing. If they promised me a shitload of money to support them, I would at least think about it. I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm not. I'm being honest with you, bro. If they came to me, if if the Republicans came to me, you know, you might them, you, you you might get that. I mean, you, you might not get the five hundred thousand that that they were gonna get fifty. Said, but, hey man, give me but, give, give me some racks, bro. <laughs> yeah. give, me, give me give me fifty racks. And I'll at least think about it. I got bills to pay, bro. But, I'm Todd Barnett, and I'm telling jokes for, for right. Donald. <laughs> Do you hate liberals? <laughs> Wait, let me see if I can practice that. Do you hate liberals? Oh, I can't really do it. No, here but, this is what you need to say. Slavery was voluntary. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, don't even get me started on Kanye. You understand how many people came at me? We need to repeal me? the 13th Amendment. So many people came at me. Okay, we'll start with you. When I said my thing about Kanye, and and, and, and I, I won't even, just go and you'll see can, some of the it, stuff they said about, is, can, about can, me. Can we, can we repeal the 13th Amendment just for Kanye? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's already get to there. work. He's already in the house. Yeah. As long as he's in the house, he don't really care. Um, so okay, we, we got a few things. Hey, I, I, I can't thank you guys enough for sticking around for yeah, this. Yeah, this is cool. I, for I the first it. live it Yeah, and if you're on Twitter watching, thank you as well. Uh we got a few things to to, to let's let's go down the list of uh where you can find us. Okay. So so uh comedian Ty Barnett. Dot com is up. You can say that. I don't really talk about politics on the website because it's, you know, I, I need a break from all this shit. <laughs> uh, the Twitter is tbarnett23. Uh, Facebook, you obviously know what that is. Right. And Instagram is tybarnett, uh, comedian Ty Barnett, something like that, right? Okay. Just search your name. You find yeah, it. yeah. You, you'll find it, right? Uh, this is what I do now. They just just look up my name and you see my picture, right? And, but, and Ian, <laughs> tell them about you. Yeah, so, IanHarrisComedian.com. Um, 
And uh, yeah, everything is at, at Comedioker. So it's mediocre right. mixed with comedy. And um, Or just search my name, Ian Harris. So we're going to switch gears here from, from politics. Well, Thank you guys for sticking around. But we got, go ahead, wait. Well, go ahead. Real quick, I was going to say, so so this is what we're doing. So uh, on our podcast, com- uh, Critical and Thinking, please subscribe. Yes. Like, go on and rate it. it we need ratings. We need reviews. Say this, you know, this unless, sucks, five stars. Unless you're going to talk <laughs> shit. Yeah. Do not get on there talking shit. <laughs> we're both pretty sensitive, even though we act like we're not. Right. But... <laughs> No, but please, it really helps us to share yeah. it, to, to to like it, and trying to build this thing. And, That's right. Uh, we're here every Wednesday. Our, our episodes drop every Wednesday. We're on Comedy Pop Up, and um, so yeah, so so like our check check it out. It's on Stitcher, it's on iTunes, it's on all uh, Google Play, all the things. Critical and Thinking with Ty Burnett and Ian Harris, and we um, we got lots of great. This is our thirteenth, fourteenth episode. We've yeah. had some crazy good. Yeah. Uh, guests. We've had like Kara Santa Maria and yeah. Yvette uh, Dontremont, the uh, Psy Bay. We've had Seth Andrews. We've had um, we had Jamie Kilstein, Rick Overton. We've had we've had some cool cool guests. Um, oh. uh, Leanne Lord. I mean, so many great comics and science people. And what's all this? We upside down. <laughs> I only did that because Brett's comment. Brett said his neck hurts from watching this, and I wonder if that's but because we just uh, because the camera was that way. See, this is the problem with technology from two uh, old motherfuckers that don't really know technology. But, all but, the but here's the thing. Whoever set this up doesn't know technology. Video always goes this way. Yeah, it should, Photos it should, go this yeah, way. Yeah, it should switch. It should switch. Hopefully that – is that what you meant, Brett? Is that what you meant by the, the thing? Hopefully that that's what you meant. Uh, yes, there you go. Uh, okay, so – but here's the other thing. So so on some fun shit, totally fun, no, no politics involved at all. Uh, my, my boy here, Ian Harris, just so you guys know, is one of the best impressionists that I know. Like, I'm not making this up. And he I'm knows not, two. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, it's him and, and uh, the other guy. But uh, so what we ha- our new segment for the show is there you go, Brad. I hope that helps yes. you out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kim said now our heads are cut off. But uh, our, our new segment is um, fake, real fake celebrities reading the real fake news. Bruce okay? Jingles. I hope I got that right. It thinks so, you Bruce Jingles. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, really? Really? No. Even though... It, even just, though, it just went racist on it. It just, it just asked if we want to tag Bruce Jingles. Oh, yeah. We'll tag Bruce. We'll tag Bruce. Y- I thought y- they y- said I look like Bruce. Well, like, well, isn't that what it did? Oh, I, I, thought, the, no. I, thought, I thought it t- recognizes your face because it just said you want to tag Ian Harris. You want to tag... No. <laughs> it's, rec- it's face no, recognition. No, no disrespect to Bruce at all. That's my boy. I love him. But we look way different. <laughs> well, uh, not, not according to Facebook. Fucking Facebook. <laughs> Fuck you, Facebook. <laughs> it's like, it's, see, you, you want to tag Chris Rock? Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, all right, so I got a list here. This is the list of all the oh, people and, and, that Ian can do. This is the list of all the people that Ian and, can do impressions of. And, and, and by the way, and by the way, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, everyone, we're starting a, a Patreon thing um, to keep this thing going. So in the future, we're going to do this fun little thing, and it's going to be, um, it's going to be, uh, uh, this is going to be the Patreon, but the last the last ten minutes we got this new segment we're working on that that actually Ty yeah. came up with called uh, uh, "Real Fake Celebrities Doing the Real, real fake, fake News." news. Yeah. So we're going to find a real fake, like a National Enquirer article. Yes. And then Ty has to tell me who I'm doing, and I'm going to read the article, and then we're going to talk about off the, the top. Last I mean, he minutes. doesn't he, get, he doesn't get to know. He's going to read the article from who I pick on the list. <laughs> All right. So here we go. The first ever live. Real fake celebrities reading the real fake news. I think I keep fucking that title up. <laughs> but here we go. So uh, nah, 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 nah. we're going to go with. And tell, hey, okay. when he when he's doing it, you guys tell me if you can <laughs> guess who he is. All right, I'm not even going to say the name. Do you, right want me there. Do, you want me to do it without saying the name? No, no, don't say the name. Do the person. And I want to see if the people watching All can right. guess who's actually who he's doing. All right. All right so here's here's the uh, the first ever. Real yeah. fake celebrities reading the real fake news. Go. All right. Uh, all right. Look. Uh, uh, Sinead O'Connor has turned her back on the on the Catholic Church. All right. Uh, she says the Irish Post. Uh, Who's he doing? Uh, Post P O S T. Uh, people operating simultaneously together uh, with the troubled Irish songbird, uh, revealing that uh, she's now a Muslim <laughs> named uh, Shahuda Devit. Uh, fucking Muslims. Uh, <laughs> And uh, the suicidal pop star. Who was he right. doing, you guys? All right. Look, look, uh, I'll give you a hint. Back when I played Buddy Holly uh, a long time ago, uh, <laughs> I never had to play no goddamn Muslim. 
But, uh, all right, look, uh, she had taken the Muslim moniker of my Gadaga de Davida. So, like that, in a Gada in 2017. This is true. She's not O'Connor who's done this. Now well, we can't read this whole story. I'll, I'll, no, no, no. Now we're going to, now we're going to switch up. You're going to do another one and, <laughs> and scrolling and, down yeah, to pick the, another one. And here we go. We're going to go with, if you don't know, yeah, Kim got it. Oh, actually, Jameson got it nice. too. <laughs> Gary Busey. <laughs> it was Gary Busey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gary Busey, Gary Busey. All right. Hey, what now up, Rodney? National Okay, John Benet, uh, let's see, what's a good, here, here's a good National Enquirer story. All right, so we're going to go, I'm going to pick another one. I'm okay. going to pick another one and go with, oh man, I kind of want to do this, but. uh got to be somebody I can do. I can't do all these. I'm close to. No, 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 no. Right, I can do anything, I, whatever you give me, I'll do it. Whatever. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go with, actually, in the spirit of uh, this person getting, <laughs> Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Uh, all right, God. so let's go with, oh, right here. One of my favorites right there. Okay. Go right there. And guess one. Here's, a, here's another one. Here's another one. Go. Another uh, National Enquirer story. Whoa. Like, Queen Latifah has been totally secretly visiting cancer treatment hey, centers Irene. for like almost a year. And it was like, like the National Who's he doing? Enquirer has totally, <laughs> totally learned the exclusively, the hip hop stars totally snuck into, sneaked, snuck she like got into like a Beverly Hills facility <laughs> and it was like specialized in treatment and who is this cancer and like and like blood diseases and all that kind of stuff it was crazy <laughs> I am a doctor <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys oh that was dope that was dope if you didn't know no wait we'll give him of two, course Michael Keaton. two seconds <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll give him two seconds to guess who that was uh Neo yeah, break out it again Neo. there you go Neo <laughs> There you go, the turtle, turtle, turtle from, from Nemo. From Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look, you guys, uh, we got to get ready to wrap this up. By the way, Gary Busey and Keanu Reeves for those listening at home. Yeah, a yeah. couple people, a couple people got it right yeah. in there. I didn't pick so, the easiest ones. Next time, I'm gonna pick somebody super, super duper fucking hard uh, <laughs> for him to do. Uh, I don't want to do like I don't. I don't really do impressions. The only person I really know. Is uh Morgan Freeman and That's, Bruce Jingles? What up, Travis? <laughs> Travis and Bruce Jingles, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> so listen, you guys. Oh man, and, and see, look, look. Okay, so listen. I, I want to say this before we get ready to wrap this up. Thank you guys for coming in and checking this out, man. This was a fucking blast, bro. <laughs> this is I, I had so much fun doing this. So we're gonna end since we got the most people here right now watching at the same time. Before we end this, I want to say this to everybody. All the stuff that we talk about, it comes from one place, love. That's all it comes from, love. L love for humanity, love for your fellow man or woman, love for pets, because I'm a big dog lover. Uh, we want everybody, we want a society that everyone looks out for each other. Empathy. I say this at the end of every episode. Empathy. You have to look at each other as human beings, man. Don't look at them just as a black person or a white person or Asian person or a gay person or a straight person. Look at them as a person, a human being that has feelings just like you do. You have to understand the only way we fix these problems in this world is to love each other. That's the only way. The only way to fix this is loving each other and understanding that we are different, but we have a lot of things that make us the same. And I want to say, again, I can't thank you guys enough. For tuning into this, this was actually one of the most fun ones that I've that we've yeah, ever done, good. and we will do this every. We're going live every week. Every week we're going right. live. Love, love, you're, love. You're, usually, usually it's going to be Thursdays. Thursdays at one Pacific. We went an hour early today. A lot of times we're going to have a guest. We have a call in. Um, but also, guys, we're we're a week a week and a half out. Please vote, vote. And if you're not registered, go register. It's not that hard. And if they kicked you off, go Hilarious. register again. Right. And, and if you can't, if you can't get to. <laughs> If you can't get, it's not, it's not too low though, right? No, it's not know. too low. This is the right, This is standard V-neck. This v -neck. is standard V-neck, Brad. This is from Target. This is all from Target. <laughs> but but it go if you if you don't if you know somebody that isn't registered, get them out there. If you if you're in one of these districts where they're purging people or they're giving all kind of bullshit, give somebody a ride. If you got if you need to get a ride, call Lyft, call Uber. They're doing it for free. Right. Places. Schedule. Do something. Get people out to vote. Make your voices heard. We need to, especially in these swing states, swing districts. Come on, people. One hundred million people, people did not vote. vote. One hundred million. For the president. Didn't and vote. now we're talking a midterm, which is even worse than that. Usually. Okay. Do get you, out and vote. Yes, we have to do this, you guys. Peace and love to everybody. This has been Critical in Thinking. We'll see you next with time. With Ty Barnett. Ian Harris. Love, everybody. Peace. Love.